Hello and welcome to our video about the potential ways students and immigrants can come to Australia. Australia is a popular destination for students and skilled workers from all over the world, thanks to its world-class education system and strong economy. In this video, we'll be discussing the different visa options available for those who want to study or work in Australia. Before we proceed, we want to make it clear that the information provided in this video is for general informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice. The visa application process can be complex and the requirements can vary depending on individual circumstances, so it's important to consult with a registered migration agent or immigration lawyer before making any decisions or submitting any visa applications. Now let's talk about the visa options. First, let's talk about study visas. Australia is home to some of the best universities in the world, and many international students choose to come here to pursue their higher education. There are several visa options available for those who want to study in Australia, including the student visa, or subclass 500, which allows you to study full-time at a registered institution for up to five years. To apply for a student visa, you must first be accepted into a registered course of study in Australia. You will also need to provide evidence of your financial capacity to support yourself while you are studying in Australia, as well as health insurance coverage. It's important to note that you may also be required to undergo a health examination before your visa can be granted. Next, let's talk about work visas. Australia is always looking for skilled workers to contribute to its economy, and there are several visa options available for those who want to work in Australia. One of the most popular options is the Skilled Independent Visa, was subclass 189, which is a permanent residency visa for skilled workers who are not sponsored by an employer, a state or territory, or a family member. To be eligible for a skilled independent visa, you must first submit an expression of interest EOI, through Skill Select, which is the Australian government's online system for managing skilled migration. You must also meet the points test, which is a system that assigns points based on factors such as age, English language proficiency, and work experience. If you score enough points, you may be invited to apply for a skilled independent visa. Another option for skilled workers is the skilled nominated visa, or subclass 190, which is a state-sponsored visa that allows skilled workers to live and work in a specific state or territory in Australia. To be eligible for this visa, you must first be nominated by a state or territory government agency and meet their specific requirements. You must also meet the points test and be invited to apply for the visa. Finally, there is the Skilled Work Regional, or Provisional, visa, a subclass for 191, which is also a state-sponsored visa that allows skilled workers to live and work in a designated regional area of Australia. To be eligible for this visa, you must first be nominated by a state or territory government agency or be sponsored by an eligible family member who lives in a designated regional area. You must also meet the points test and be invited to apply for the visa. It's important to note that both the Skilled Nominated Visa, or Subclass 190, and the Skilled Work Regional, or Provisional, Visa, or Subclass for 91, require you to commit to living and working in the sponsoring state or territory for a specified period of time. This can range from two to four years depending on the visa. In conclusion, there are several visa options available for those who want to study or work in Australia. Whether you're a student looking to pursue your education in a world-class institution, or a skilled worker looking to contribute to Australia's economy, there is likely a visa option that is right for you. 
Just be sure to research the requirements carefully and plan ahead to ensure a smooth and successful visa application process. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below.